A big setback for actor Sanjay Dutt and uh, others who had uh, sought review petitions. This was reconsidering the conviction in the 1993 Bombay Blast case. Well, the Supreme Court has said no case is made out for review in March this year. The Supreme Court upholding Sanjay Dutt's conviction for possessing arms, sentencing him to a five-year jail term. The court today has also dismissed review petitions filed by six other convicts in the Mumbai Blast case. Tejas and Saurabh are both with us on that big breaking story at this point. Tejas, what next then for Sanjay Dutt? Two options really, he can uh, file a curative petition, that's the last of legal option really he has and that uh, is normally heard before another bench itself and that's the last legal option he has to you know, ask the court to review and change its uh, judgment really. Will that happen? Rather unlikely given the circumstances you have the, 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 the trial court here in Mumbai, the special Tata court which is right inside the Arthur Road jail, that came to a decision in 2006 and they sentenced him to six years in, in jail. The Supreme Court came with a judgment this year itself and they sentenced him uh, just lowering the sentence by only five years but largely upholding uh, what the, the findings of the trial court really were. Then, of course, the review petition happened today. That, of course, has been rejected. The last option he has is, of course, filing a review, a, a curative petition. If he does not want to do that, then it's only jail time for Sanjay Dutt now. Uh, on the 15th of May, that's the date decided because, mind you, he was supposed to actually surrender a month ago, but he asked for six more months' time. He went to the Supreme Court pleading for more time since he had financial uh, commitments with uh, several uh, film directors he had to complete their movies. He said about 250 crores to 300 crores are riding on him and uh, therefore if he does not really complete those movies it could really affect many many other lives and taking that point into view on a humanitarian ground really uh, the Supreme Court went ahead and granted this uh, you know one month extension that completes on the 15th of May so on the 15th of May he'll have to surrender himself before the Tata court here the trial court here itself the Tata, that's, that's the Tata court and then from there he'll be taken uh, most likely to the Yerwada jail in Pune that's where he was uh, uh, he was uh, he was lodged last time too when the trial court had convicted him so that's the the two options really before him but in all likelihood he would go before the supreme court with a curative petition since that's one option to review this entire decision once again ankita right saurabh uh, any reaction yet from sanjay dutt or uh, other members of his family Uh, well, Ankita, no reactions from Sanjay Dutt or his family. We are outside his residence, the Imperial Heights residence at Bandra, which is where he has been since morning. He hasn't stepped out today, but uh, one uh, is expecting some kind of a reaction from his family. But really, Sanjay Dutt, uh, in the past few days, uh, uh, has been focusing on completing uh, the film assignments that he had and also focusing on the charity, which uh, many critics questioned as that would help him uh, uh, under the Probation of Offenders Act, uh, like. Uh, uh, activist YP Singh had pointed out but the question really is now it almost seems certain like they just pointed out if Sanjay Dutt doesn't file that curative petition then it almost seems certain that Sanjay Dutt will ha we have to going, uh, go to jail on the 15th of May which is when the deadline uh, that has been set uh, expires remember Sanjay Dutt had asked for a six month extension the Supreme Court turned that down reduced it to one month like they just pointed out earlier and that one month period expires and Sanjay Dutt, it seems, will be going to uh, going to jail very soon if at all he uh, files a curative petition. Then it w that that will be seen as to what the court decides on that petition. But otherwise, more or less certain that uh, Sanjay Dutt, uh, it, it, the options are running out for him, and he will have to surrender himself before the Tada court uh, on the 15th of May. Now, Sanjay Dutt himself had earlier filed a petition that he should be allowed to surrender at the jail himself. That was turned down by the Tada court. That's citing that procedures would have to be followed. So Sanjay Dutt in all likelihood will be lodged in the Yerwada jail in Pune like they just pointed out and that would be on the 15th of May when he surrenders. That should be the date. Uh, Ankita? Right. Uh, they just, the apex court saying in effect that no case has been made out for review of uh, the judgment. It's also rejected similar pleas uh, by six other convicts. Who are these convicts and uh, what is their role? 
But one of them is uh, Zebunisa Kazi. Now, she was, uh, as we used to always say, say in court, uh, she was among the Sanjay that group itself. What was her role? Basically, Abu Salem, the gangster, was also uh, was also one of the accused in the 1993 case. His judgment uh, in this particular case is not yet out. But he had uh, gone, taken arms and delivered them at Zebunisa Kazi's residence. From there, uh, he later came and took the, uh, took the arms again, which was, of course, used uh, for the attacks on Bombay itself in 1993. But her claim has always been that she did not know what really was inside and how was it at all any different from Sanjay Dutt's case. If Sanjay Dutt has not been found guilty under TADA, then why is she really being, being found guilty? But as I said, these are legalities which are now really over. The Supreme Court also decided on that. Now they went to court saying that we also want an extension just like Sanjay Dutt got on humanitarian grounds because we are not well. We have to finish a lot of other uh, responsibilities they ha uh, we have and they wanted an extension on that grounds. But now they also have been saying that, you know, uh, she is very old. She is uh, 70 years old, for example. She has cancer, her daughter has been saying. And her, 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 her emotional plea has always been that she is not a terrorist. Of course, that won't cut ice with the Supreme Court, given the fact that they have upheld the judgment of the trial court in, in, in a larger sense. They have convicted her now. She has to go to jail, whether, you know, uh, whether, uh, the, the, whether she believes she is a terrorist or not, because she has been found guilty under TADA. She has been found guilty as an accused so she will have to go the others were also similarly uh, many of the accused who were uh, handling explosives who were part of the landing of uh, rdx into mumbai itself uh, so all these people many of them are, are pretty old in fact one of them uh, just uh, uh, Esa, uh, his name was uh, uh, isa uh, havanje he died just a few days ago he was 85 years old and he also had taken this extension uh, from the supreme court he died out of old age just a few days ago so one of those uh, you know people who had petitioned before the supreme court asking for this extension he has now expired so that's that's one less but most of them had been asking for some sort of review to you know try and change the judgment in in some sort of way in the courts uh, courts uh, you know uh, judgment really but that of course not really happening now so before Sanjay Rath now he has the pardon which uh, everybody has been controversially talking about especially Justice Markandi Akadju he had put put forth several points Ankita one saying that Sanjay Dutt has been uh, um, is a married man now he has got children and therefore mercy should be shown uh, to him he had also mentioned that his parents uh, Sunil Dutt and uh, Nargis Dutt were social workers who was to go to the border they have helped many people and therefore mercy should be shown before Sanjay Dutt and he given at least uh, 10 reasons before, this, before uh, the governor of Maharashtra and also the president of India those petitions have now, uh, uh, especially in Maharashtra, have gone to the Home Ministry here. They normally have to go through uh, the, the appeals made by uh, several people for Sanjay Dutt. For example, you have Justice Markande Kaju, you have a former Samajwadi Party leader Amar Singh. All of them had gone to the, the governor asking for some mercy to be shown to Sanjay Dutt. Likewise, there are many others to Ankita who had gone to the governor saying that no mercy should be shown because if you show towards him, then what about the others who have been found guilty? The equal equal mercy should, should be shown to all of them in that case. So there is a, a very, very uh, you know, contradicting view on whether mercy or should be shown to Sanjay Dutt at all. People like Mukesh Bhatt, Mahesh Bhatt who are, are very close to him have always been saying that yes, Sanjay Dutt was silly, he was foolish at that point of time, but he's a reformed man now, he has suffered for 20 years and therefore mercy should be shown to him. That's of course a decision now with the governor, the president of India, uh, that no decision has been, has been taken on that but that's another route perhaps uh, in all likelihood will be taken after he really goes to jail currently he has only two options as we have been saying either he goes to uh, the uh, supreme court once again with a, with a curative petition or he surrenders himself before the tada court and goes to the yerwada jail but yes his family will be completely really broken down in fact priya Dutt came out with a very emotional statement after uh, sanjay Dutt's conviction by the supreme court itself sanjay Dutt himself spoke to the media we, rem we remember those uh, rather telling vi visuals when he broke down before the camera saying that i do not want a pardon i will surrender myself and please Please, uh, you know, give me a break for one month's time. I want to finish all the work I have. I want to spend time with my family. That emotion, those emotional scenes, are uh, really, uh, you know, uh, showing how how much really it matters to not only, of course, uh, Sanjay Dutt and uh, and the larger Bollywood fraternity, but anybody, of course, going to jail. It's a traumatic experience. Many of them have already gone, uh, spent a lot of time.
him but uh, naturally they will try before the court to try and get some reprieve or the other he has already finished about 18 months in jail sanjay that that's uh, since he was arrested in 1993 and uh, till date he has uh, till 2007 he has spent about 18 months in jail so he has to complete uh, another three and a half years so that's a, a pretty long time from those three and a half years can he get some reprieve like a parole or you know for good behavior the government can reduce your sentence that of course is possible that but that's much for later now right. the current uh, focus of course will be what really happens next as i've been saying two options a curative petition or surrender yourself before the tada court and it's jail time for sanjay dad ankita